So we had a workshop on Tuesday that was an educational session, and I specifically talked about phase one trial design and uh, talked about some of the more modern methods of doing phase one trials from a statistical and design perspective. I was really trying to talk about um, moving forward from traditional three plus three designs, which are, have been around for 40 years probably, more than that, to equally easy to do methods, but more um, better performance from a statistical perspective, more likely to select the correct dose to carry forward, able to monitor toxicity in expansion cohorts, which we almost always do now, and uh, just more flexible and uh, better able to be used uh, to design future trials. So three plus three designs put three patients on at a dose level. If there are no toxicities, you go up to the next dose level, put another three patients on. Uh, if you get a toxicity, you put six patients on, and basically at that point, you're pretty much done. So you never get to more than six patients on a dose level. Deciding the dose to carry forward into phase two trials and possibly even into phase three trials based on six patients doesn't seem like a very um, informative way to make decisions. So the newer designs, um, some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the model assisted designs like a Bowen design, Bayesian optimal interval design, or uh, keyboard design, which is related to something called the toxicity probability interval design. These allow you to add more patients on at any one dose level and to monitor toxicity going forward so that you get the expansion and you are then making decisions on perhaps 15 patients or 20 patients. Uh, sometimes that can even be the beginning of a phase two design so that you get kind of a twofer. So I, I think some of these designs are relatively recently published in, I'd say, the last three or four years. Uh, there's an older kind of style of design called model-based designs that have similar performance, actually even better performance, but are more complicated to use, called continual reassessment. Those designs have been around for a long time, but they have not been taken up by the sort of general research community, partly I think because they're a little harder to use. Um, some, now people are starting to use these model assisted designs that are very easy to use but have similar performance. And we'll see whether they get to be used commonly. I'm using them all the time, but you know, I'm just one person. Partly it's getting the word out and getting people to understand that it's just as safe, doesn't take any longer, um, but makes better decisions. So there are a couple papers published uh, recently in the Clinical Cancer Research Journal, which is an AACR journal, and um, one on the Bowen design and another one on the keyboard design. So th that would be a good place to look to find an easy to read description for a clinician or for a researcher. Well, there's only so much you can do in phase one because the primary um, goal is to look at toxicity and select a safe dose. I think that there are always enhancements that can be made, but um, I think these designs are really um, where we should be going and possibly um, some enhancements on top of what they're already doing. Mm -hmm.